Hello there everybody, this is Grant with Sanders the Collector 75. Welcome to another Transformers The Last Night review. This one is a figure that I've been hunting for ages for. It is of course the Voyager class Nitro Zeus or Decepticon Nitro as I think the actual box calls him. But he is of course Nitro Zeus. Um, I was looking for this guy for ages, couldn't find him, he never came out in the UK. Um, unless you're lucky enough to find him, maybe he came out once. Um, yeah, he uh, is a pretty cool figure, and I'm glad I picked him up. I think I eventually decided to get him from Capel Toys, I think I saw him. And he cost me about 30 quid, a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but it was a figure that I wanted, and yeah, he weren't going to come out in the UK. I mean, he may make an appearance someday, but who knows? Especially with the figures seem to be popping up in um, B&M at the moment. Uh, so anyway, uh, he is a very cool jet mode. Now, I got this guy God, before Christmas sometime. Um, took him out of the box and then I was going to transform him but then I had to put loads of stuff away so I left him on the shelf, put the box away with the instructions and there he stayed on my shelf until literally for about two or three months um, until I decided to transform him yesterday really um, and the, I did it without the instructions so even though it feels like it's complex it's actually not too bad I don't know if this cockpit will open, it looks like it wants to open um... Can I get it open? Oh yeah, there we go. Look, see the cockpit will open. I think you can probably put a little Titan Master. I don't have any handy, which is pretty bad of me. Uh, I don't think I... No, I don't actually, unfortunately. Uh, so anyway, you could probably pop one in there, which is always good, if you want my opinion. I like that. Uh, but he's a very cool jet mode. Now, he does have a little bit of the robot underneath, but I don't mind it too much. Um, I don't know if these jets things here are supposed to be like vertical takeoff and landing thrusters, but there's nothing on top to suggest that. So I think it's just one of those things that carries over from robot mode and they didn't know where to put it, if I'm honest, um, which is a shame. But it's a very cool jet mode. Um, I'm not too sure if I like the black nose cone with the rest of the grey body. I don't know if it just looks, looks more like one of those weird knockoffs that you get sometimes. Uh, so I think I'd have preferred it either to have been a bit more, don't worry about it, uh, a bit more colour coded, maybe with like black paint and then edging into some grey or something like that, you know, like sometimes they have with the old teeth going down the side and whatever. I think I'd have preferred something like that, whereas where it just ends this whole chunk is black and this is a grey, it just looks a little off to me. But I do like it then, at least they've done the black paint along, which would have been the tail, uh, not the flaps. Uh, the little wing flaps here so that does give it that kind of um what's the word um not i can't think the right word to be honest um not symbiotic look well i, I don't know symmetrical look who knows what i'm really trying to say um anyway right so this is the jet mode and it's pretty cool uh so let's transform it really rather than me waffle on for too much longer right so we're going to put his little landing gear away i love it i, I did give some um this guy some uh, little sort of like chrome uh, painting apps there. Um, I did one here for the wheel here and then um, forgot on the other side so I'm going to have to really touch that one up at some point. Uh, right, so yes, let's transform it now. Then the first thing we're going to do is pop that landing gear away. That's as far as I can remember what to do now. Uh, so then we're going to sort of like open up these wings, disconnect them from certain points like so. Now I don't know if they go up or not, I can't remember. I'm not going to... Ah, see they do. There we go, so they can raise up like that. That gets them out of the way. Now we're gonna come around to here. And then we're gonna start, hopefully, disconnecting stuff. It doesn't, it all sort of tabs in in weird places. Uh, so bear with me, I think that one's tabbed in just in there. It's hard ways sometimes getting your bloody fingers in. I'll tell you what, they didn't want to bloody go in, and they don't want to come bloody out. Oh, hello, there's his head. Um, we'll put that down there. That always pops off. Oh, come on, come out. It's hard knowing sometimes where to grab it. You grab the wrong bit and you're ripping the other bits off. But there we go. Right, so there we go. So I've disconnected his legs. We're going to bring them out like so. Come back around here. Now then we've got to disconnect this tail section. And this is going to rotate all the way up. That is going to flip around to the side. And then that is going to just lodge into there. But it's not going to do lodge in there just yet. We haven't got the arm out. Right, so we're going to come back around to here. Now then, uh, we need to start getting these bloody arms out, don't we? Right, so... We're going to get this arm out here. It's like a bit of a car crash, this one, to be honest. Uh, then we can flip this down and rotate that little panel down. And it just not nicely flops into place there. Uh, so this is the arm. We're going to bring the arm around. Uh, fold that little up there. And that, I can't remember if it locks in or not, but it's staying there. 
Uh, so we're going to come back to this one now. Then we've got to open out this leg. Uh, where's this one going? Ah, oh, this one. I love how they've put a little rotational joint just on there. So you've got to bring this one up. So once you've got it all free and out of the way, you can bring it up and round. And then you can rotate that back around. And then I think you've got to that's it, collapse it nicely. And then this will tab in together. If you can do it, that is. There we go. And here we are, he's almost done. We're just going to bring that down and around, like so. And oh, look at that, he's almost done. Bring them up, that's going to become his other robot arm. Uh, once you get it all pegged in and everything, and there we go. Uh, then what we're going to do, rotate these little flaps out on his arms. If you can get them apart. I think it's probably easier to do it down here, isn't it? It does tab in just up there. It's always a pain trying to get them out sometimes. Oh dear, some nasty tab in there, isn't it? There we go. So once you've done that, you can rotate these up and around, like so. There we go, right, so that's that done. And now that we're almost done, we're just gonna tub, tab that in there. We can rotate these to your heart's content. You can have them up like that, do what you want with them. You're gonna rotate these, bring out his feet. There isn't too much transformation on his feet, on his legs, luckily. They look like there should be, but there isn't but they are super poseable legs and there's are there ball joints on these. I don't think there is. No, he just stands remarkably well, providing you get him into the right stance. And there he basically is. Now all you've got to do is re-angle these out. You're going to open this up and now these all just collapse all around. I love this, how this all works and tabs in together like so. And that gives him his weird little sort of, I don't know what they were in the film, were they? But they were damn cool, I'll tell you that now. Well, that's got to rotate up. And that all comes around and locks into position. Now you can disconnect them like this to give them that angled look like he did in the film. And I did like that, I did like that. But you can just angle them down. Uh, oh yeah, these bits. I forgot about these bits. These bits just rotate up. Oh, I forgot to do that, never mind. Right, so that's them bits tucked away on both sides. And then all we do now is you flip out his little robot hand here. And then he's done. As you can see, he is minus a head because this guy is a, well, I say he is a headmaster. He's not exactly a headmaster. But they gave him the opportunity. And now apparently there was a deleted scene in the film where Cogman, who is a headmaster, does knock, smash, blows his head off. I don't know what he does. And then transforms into a head himself and takes control of his body. One in the film, so they obviously thought better of that one. But this is the head that you get with the actual figure, and it is a pretty cool head. Now, if they'd have had this head in the film, um, I would have been happy with that, because it's a good head. Nothing wrong with it, it's a little bit wobbly in there for some reason. But it looks really good. I actually really like it. Maybe it's not in there all the way. I don't know. But either way, it's a bit wobbly. I don't know. But there we go. But it's a good head, you know, and it stays there. And it looks absolutely brilliant and stonking but if you want a show accurate head now i got this i bought a what was it dark of the moon shockwave and painted it gray it's not exactly the same gray but it's good enough for me and then you can jam just about jam that in there like so yeah thanks to zort rider for uh, showing me how to do that that was always a, a good little find that one so anyway so once you get that in there and he's got a more show accurate head then uh, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I actually really like the fella. He's really good. He's got lots of posability. You can do a lot with this. You can open these out to give him like some bloody weird crossbow thing. I have no idea why, but you can do that. Um, you know, as things go, I suppose that's all right. And of course, on this arm, you've got his giant Gatling gun. Um, and so that's pretty cool. So he's pretty tooled up. And of course, you're going to get loads of articulation in these. You've got an extra little flap there so you can get him down like that. And you can get this guy into all manner of poses. Um, absolutely fantastic. I love this figure. This is one of the better figures of the line, along with uh, Megatron. But yeah, but if you can track this guy, there is a knockoff for this out at the moment, which I do have. And I'm going to review soon, which is the... I don't know who makes it now. I forget who makes all these bloody KOs. Um, but yeah, you know the one. The oversized metallic version of this with all the paint apps and bigger. And that looks amazing. But yeah, so this has been the Collector 75 with 
Um, I've forgotten his name, huh? Nitro Zeus, isn't it? Yes, um, a great figure, honestly. Um, yeah, if you can track one down, please track it down. Now, if you've liked this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, you can support my channel using the links below, and you can follow me on Instagram. Right, this has been Graham the Collector, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.